Something strange is happening on the moon. For decades, it has hung in our sky, silent, motionless, and familiar. But lately, it's not behaving like we thought. In early 2025, as a new generation of lunar landers touched down, the first high-definition cameras began transmitting real-time footage from the surface. And what they recorded stunned everyone watching. Glints of light that shouldn't exist. Moving shadows with no source. A shimmer, faint but deliberate, dancing across the craters like a coated pulse. NASA's engineers called it a reflection. Japan's mission control blamed it on dust. But when India, America, and Japan all recorded the same phenomenon at the same lunar latitude, days apart, one truth became harder to deny. The moon was reacting. Something beneath that ancient dust was stirring, as if the cameras themselves had woken it up. NASA thought it was a glitch, but as the footage poured in, one truth became impossible to ignore. The moon isn't as dead as we've always believed. If you're new to the space race, subscribe, because what comes next could change how we see the moon forever. For half a century, the moon has been a symbol of human triumph, the place where technology met courage and history stood still. After Apollo 17 left in 1972, the lunar surface became quiet again. The footprints remained, but the mission stopped. Until now. Between 2025 and 2026, five new missions from NASA, Japan, India, and private companies reignited a global lunar race unseen since the Cold War. NASA's Odysseus, Japan's Resilience, India's Vikram II, and Firefly Blue Ghost, an American AI-driven lander capable of making autonomous decisions mid-flight. Each carried the latest in optical imaging, 4K cameras, laser altimeters, AI navigation, designed to map the moon in ways humanity had never seen before. But when those cameras turned on, the data didn't line up. Temperature maps showed regions warmer than sunlight alone could explain. Laser scans revealed objects moving between frames. And high contrast footage showed light bursts flickering on crater edges where nothing, absolutely nothing, should move. The first to notice were the engineers. They replayed the footage frame by frame, expecting a calibration error. But the errors were synchronized across multiple missions, captured by systems made by different countries using different algorithms. It wasn't dust, it wasn't sunlight, and if it was a glitch, the glitch was alive. The world's best scientists suddenly faced a question they thought they'd left behind in the 1960s. What exactly is happening up there? February 2025, Intuitive Machines, a private American company, successfully lands Odysseus near the lunar South Pole. It's the first U.S. spacecraft to touch the moon since Apollo. Everything goes according to plan, until it doesn't. During descent, onboard cameras recorded a series of light bursts along the horizon. Not random, not chaotic, pulsing. Mission Control dismissed them as lens flares. But then, Japan's resilience lander, arriving months later, detected the same flashes, at the same coordinates. This wasn't a coincidence, it was a pattern. Technical analysts began examining the footage. Here's what they found. Each flash lasted just 0.3 seconds, each repeated roughly every 14 minutes, perfectly matching the moon's local magnetic cycle at that latitude. NASA's official statement called it lunar electrostatic levitation, dust particles suspended in the airless environment charged by the sun and bouncing light. But the data disagreed. Dust scatters randomly. This movement wasn't random, it was rhythmic. One NASA engineer leaked an early report describing coordinated light clusters behaving like electrical discharges traveling along the regolith. In other words, the moon might be producing its own miniature lightning. But this theory wasn't new. Back in 1972, Apollo 16 astronauts reported mysterious horizon glows, faint arcs of light seen just before sunrise. At the time, NASA chalked it up to dust. Half a century later, we're seeing the same glow again, only this time in high definition. AI imaging systems then took it further. Using frame stacking, a process where hundreds of frames are merged to reduce noise, engineers reconstructed what the human eye couldn't see in real time. The flashes weren't reflections. 
they were streams of light, traveling horizontally across crater ridges like energy discharges tracing hidden metallic veins below the surface. Either the moon's dust has learned to dance, or we've just witnessed a geological process no one has ever recorded before. Dr. Sarah Klein, AI optics specialist at NASA, summarized it best. When we slowed down the frames, the light wasn't random. It followed a rhythm, almost like a heartbeat. And then the cameras went dark. Within hours of the anomalies appearing, NASA, JAXA, and ISRO restricted full access to the raw video feeds, citing technical calibration errors. But independent observers tracking the same transmissions through amateur radio arrays noticed something strange. Packets of data were being encrypted mid-mission. When the footage was released to the public, entire segments were missing, spliced, replaced, or blurred. Headlines began appearing, signal interference, data glitch, optical corruption. But off-record, scientists spoke differently. Some proposed electrical storms created by charged lunar dust. Others pointed to buried metallic debris, remnants of past missions, or meteoric iron reacting with solar radiation. But one internal memo, later leaked, described something far stranger. Persistent signal reflection, not consistent with terrain, possible active source, a signal. If true, this wouldn't just mean the moon is geologically active, it could mean it's electrically active, an ancient self-contained battery discharging across its crust. For years, lunar scientists have theorized about cold plasma pockets trapped beneath the surface, remnants from meteor impacts billions of years ago. If those charges are awakening now, it might explain the rhythmic flashes. But others whisper a more daring idea, that the moon's anomalies aren't natural at all, that they're echoes of technology left behind. What if the moon isn't just a witness to our history, but a participant in it? If you're still watching, drop a comment below. What do you think those lights were? Static or something intelligent? Whatever those flashes were, they've changed how we see the moon and how we plan to return to it. NASA's Artemis program is now preparing for a new phase, a permanent lunar base near Shackleton Crater by 2028. China's Chang'e 7 mission aims to establish a robotic energy hub on the same South Pole Plateau. The race is back on, but this time the goal isn't just exploration, it's observation. Both nations plan to deploy autonomous camera networks, linked by AI, to monitor the moon continuously. Every flicker, every pulse, every strange shadow, cataloged, cross-checked, and analyzed in real time. Firefly Aerospace's upcoming Blue Ghost 2 lander is rumored to carry an AI vision system modeled after human pilot reflexes, capable of learning from its surroundings, adapting mid-descent, and interpreting optical anomalies without human input. In other words, the next generation of explorers might not have a heartbeat, just a lens. And yet, the mystery deepens. Because what happens when machines learn to see things we can't? What happens when an AI looks at the moon and finds patterns invisible to human eyes? Scientists from the European Space Agency believe that integrated AI LiDAR mapping will soon reveal subsurface networks, possibly ancient lava tubes or metallic structures stretching for kilometers. If that's true, the flashes we're seeing now may be just the first hints of something far larger and far older. The moon isn't hiding forever, it's just waiting for us to look the right way. Every time we think we figured out the moon, it changes the story. The cameras didn't lie, they only showed us how little we actually know. Maybe those flashes of light weren't warnings, maybe they were invitations. Invitations to remember that we are still explorers, still standing at the edge of the unknown. The moon is still whispering its secrets, and for the first time in history, we're finally listening. So the next time you look up and see its surface glowing faintly in the night sky, ask yourself, is it reflecting our light or revealing its own? If you enjoyed this cinematic deep dive, subscribe for more real stories that blur the line between mystery and discovery.